In the Western Pacific lies the Philippine Archipelago, a nation of over 7,000 islands shaped by volcanic fire and the sea. For millennia, these islands have been home to resilient people whose origins are woven from myth, legend, and science. Today, we'll unravel how these islands formed and where their first inhabitants came from, exploring both ancient stories and scientific discoveries. Join me as we trace the many threads that tell the story of the Philippines. Among the most enduring Filipino myths is the tale of Malacus and Maganda, the first man and woman. Born from a split bamboo stalk by a great bird, they emerge strong and beautiful, symbolizing humanity's deep connection to nature. This story reflects a worldview where people and land are one, rooted in the heart of the islands themselves. Spanish colonization brought the Judeo-Christian creation story, where God created the world and humanity in six days. All people, including Filipinos, were seen as descendants of Adam and Eve, spreading across the globe after the Great Flood. This narrative offered a new cosmology, contrasting with indigenous myths but shaping Filipino beliefs for centuries. Science tells a cosmic story. 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began with the Big Bang. Stars forged elements in their fiery cores and supernovae scattered these building blocks, eventually forming our solar system. The Philippines' story begins with these ancient cosmic events, setting the stage for life on Earth. Evolution explains how life diversified from simple organisms to the complex forms we see today. Through natural selection, species adapted and changed, leading to the rise of mammals, primates, and eventually Homo sapiens. Our own species is just one branch on the vast tree of life, shaped by millions of years of change. During the Ice Ages, lower sea levels exposed land bridges connecting the Philippines to mainland Asia. Early humans and animals may have migrated on foot, following herds and exploring new territories. This theory explains how ancient populations reached the islands without crossing open seas. Plate tectonics reveals that the Philippines' bedrock was shaped by the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. As continents drifted, the islands formed from collisions between the Eurasian and Philippine sea plates, driven by volcanic forces and tectonic forces. This ongoing geological drama continues to shape the archipelago today. Dr. Fritjof Voss challenged the land bridge theory, arguing the Philippines rose directly from the ocean floor. He believed the islands are peaks of underwater mountains, formed by tectonic collisions and volcanic activity. If true, early life arrived by sea or air, not by land. Anthropologist F. Landa Jocano proposed that Filipinos descended from a core Southeast Asian population, not from distinct migration waves. He saw a long process of local development and cultural exchange, rather than replacement by new groups. The Philippines in this view, is part of a broader, ancient Southeast Asian cultural sphere. H. Otley Byers' wave migration theory suggested Filipinos arrived in waves, Ada, Indonesians, then Malays, each more advanced than the last. Though now disputed, this theory shaped early understanding of Philippine prehistory. Modern research favors more complex, overlapping migrations and local evolution. The 1962 discovery of Tabon Man in Palawan proved humans lived in the Philippines over 20,000 years ago. Early inhabitants were hunter-gatherers, later forming coastal barangays, independent communities led by a Datu. These societies connected by trade and kinship defined the island's political landscape for centuries. From myth to science, the story of the Philippines is a tapestry of legends, geology, and human migration. Each theory, Bayer, Yukano, Voss, adds a vital thread, but the truth is a complex blend of them all. The search for origins continues, with every discovery deepening our understanding of this unique land. The story of the Philippines is still being written, by its people, its land, and its enduring spirit.